Now back to the Gillette Mustangs Coaches Show. Here's Colton Tobias. All righty, my friends, welcome back to the Gillette Mustangs Coaches Show. We're going to be wrapping things up here in just a little bit. We have head coach Cedric Walker joining us in studio again. Coach, thanks for coming back on. Thank you, Beth. Thank you very much. Coach, what are some of the biggest lessons that you learned from your victory in Rapid City uh, back in March? Actually, that was probably um, one of our most complete games. Uh, guys, offensive, defensive, special teams, everybody played well. Um, I know at that time, um, coming back, I think we had just played, I want to say Southwest Kansas. Uh, you know, everybody thought that would, might have been a fluke game because, you, you know, we weren't getting no credit back then. Uh, but to come out and play the way we played against uh, Rapid City, um, I, that was kind of like the glimpse, okay, we might have a good season or we might have a good team. So um, I know that we can't take Rapid City lightly. Um, I know that uh, – they're going to come in and play hard. Uh, I know that we've got a good game plan, myself and Coach Gray and Coach Taylor. So um, we're going to make sure that the guys are prepared um, and make sure that the fans uh, get their money's worth. Rapid City is still looking for their first CIF win. They are 0-7 in CIF play as the Mustangs played them in Week 2 in Rapid City, gaining a 67-220 win over the marshals there and coach what is the approach in this game knowing that they are still hungry for their first cif win of the season uh we've got to play them hard um we've got to um really you know go out and really just try to knock them out early um the one thing we can't do we can't allow them to have false confidence once you get that false confidence then you get momentum um uh the one thing that i like the that i think we need to be very physical with them I know Omaha was physical with them last week. Um, if we're coming out in our physicality um, and do what we're supposed to do, our main thing, realistically, um, offensive, defense, special team, is just do our job. If we do our job, and I tell this to the guys, and I mean, you've heard it, you, we do our job to the best of our ability, we'll be 1-0 Saturday night. Because uh, I know our coaches have, uh, have a great game plan, and I know that if everybody just, just do them to the best of their ability, we'll be 1-0. What's the game plan going to be like knowing that the Marshals have a completely different team compared to when you guys saw them back on March 12th? Actually, just a lot of film study. Um, watch the last two games, and then um, we actually kind of broke down the third game just to see the difference because you have that been a lot of turnover. Um, but the uh, system is still there. It's just different people running it. Um, the one thing that we've got to be able to do, we've got to keep the quarterback uh, you know, uh, off his mark. Uh, we've got to make sure that the receivers, they got some good good receivers that they don't get us for the big plays. Uh, but the main thing has got to be one in the trenches, O-line, D-line, have to win in the trenches. Do you hope to keep a Rapid City's quarterback, I guess, contained in the pocket? He doesn't escape? Absolutely. Um, they've got him, uh, no 14. And then they also bring in the, the receiver, uh, number 23. He's actually a great athlete. So we really got to have our, um, our, you know, contain our lanes right and make sure that we keep him bottled up. We're talking to head coach Cedric Walker on the Gillette Mustangs Coaches Show. And, Coach, what is going to be the game plan for uh, Coach Gray's offense in this game? Uh, we need to score every time we have the ball. Um, we started fast last week, um, but we had a couple of moments where we got stopped, uh, especially right before halftime. We've got to fix that uh, situational football understanding. And, and that's more um, as our – you know, our, our offense understanding why we're doing the things we're doing, why we take the timeouts, why we run the ball. Understand, I know we had 12 seconds left. Our quarterback has to understand it's 12 seconds. Get the ball out. Worst case scenario, uh, we can get a field goal. Um, understanding those situations because, like I said earlier, uh, we're getting to the point now where it's playoffs and every every drive, every, uh, every time we get the ball, every possession matters. And we've got to make sure we take the full advantage of it. And, Coach, how is the approach going to be for the team as a whole moving forward into these final three games? And then before we know it, it'll be playoff time. Uh, nothing's changed. Um, you know, standard is standard. We, we're going to – we got defense tomorrow, offense uh, the next day, and then we got red zone. Nothing's really changed. We switched the day up because we got a couple of things that we got to work on. Um, but um, really nothing's changed. Uh, we're just going to make sure right now everything is really between the ears and keeping the guys um, healthy and physical uh, ready before uh, for Saturday. How does it feel to be back at Spirit Hall on Saturday night? It feels good because it's the last home game I watched. <laughs> I watched on TV, but um, uh, I know the fans um, were there. I know they're going to be rowdy. Um, 
I know that we're going to give them a, a great production. Um, I know that um, the players appreciate uh, the fans. Uh, they appreciate uh, especially the post game with the with the um, autograph signing. And the main thing is is that everybody's happy. Um, we're winning. Um, it's a good product on the field, and I thank the people of Gillette. I hope they're proud of what we're doing. What time do I gates open? Uh, 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock, gates open, 6.30, um, and then let's get after it. Coach, thank you so much for coming on. We appreciate it. Thank you very much for having me. Hey, Coach Cedric Walker on the Gillette Mustangs Coaches Show. We thank you for joining us for another great show. Make sure to join us for the Gillette Mustangs next game, which will be at Spirit Hall against the Rapid City Marshals. Pre-game will be at 6, and then kickoff will be at 6.30. Colin the Bayou signing off saying, we hope you enjoyed the rest of your Monday. Get some sun out there in Gillette, and we hope you enjoy the rest of your night. This has been the Gillette Mustangs Coaches Show, a production of the Basin Radio Network.